Hey everybody, this is Jedi Jesse 96 here with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Animated Activators Bumblebee. I got this figure in the purple or Voyager Purple Shockwave versus Activators Bumblebee Target Exclusive 2 pack. Uh yeah, so on to Bumblebee. It's a very nice figure. Uh it's very show accurate in vehicle mode. Uh very nice. He has the black stripe, which goes all the way there. Red back lights, white front lights, red siren, silver Autobot symbol. All the windows are painted blue. It's very nice wheels. But he does have a couple of cons. Uh, these parts back here are kind of annoying. Uh, his arms don't tab in that well. Luckily, they don't like stay out here if you pull them out. They're on springs, so they just go right back in. Uh, but I wish they just tabbed in a little bit better. And also, the bottom is really, like, hollow, but that's not really a big deal at all. Um, so yeah, I rated a 4 out of 5 for vehicle mode. A quick size person next to Transformers Universe Classic 2.0 Legends Jazz. You can see Bumblebee is a little bit longer and taller and just chunkier and such. So, yeah. Uh, Bumblebee is about the size, um, like, in between the size of the Legends and scout glass figure. So yeah, to transform him, it's of course very, very simple, because it's an activator. What you want to do is just grab onto the front of the car, press the siren, and... dang it. BOOM! Yeah, so, a lot going on. This part folds up, his head is revealed, this back part, like, folds back here, his arms pop out, so a lot going on. Uh, then, uh, continue the transformation. You just pull the feet down. They kind of lock into place. Split the feet in half. Camera up. Uh, and you just fold up the head there. Then you just pull out the arms like that. Fold them up. So pull it down. Fold it out. Flip it up. And there you have uh, animated activators Bumblebee in robot mode. So robot mode isn't very show accurate like his uh, vehicle mode, but it still is cool. A lot of people say it looks like Classics Bumblebee, and it does look like Classics Bumblebee quite a bit, which is very cool. Uh, he has a very nice head sculpt, as you can see. It's pretty decent. Uh, he has very nice detail, also. You can see, like, the thighs there and all that. And you can see he has, like, the hands in there. And fingers, sorry. All that. Uh, so. so, articulation, his head can go up and down, left and right. Uh, his arms can rotate 360 degrees, go out from the body, rotate 360 degrees at the upper part of the arm, bend at two parts at the lower part of the arm, right there and there. And his legs can go forward, back, out from the body, rotate 360 degrees at the upper part of the leg, and they can bend at the knee, bend forward just a little bit at the knee, and his feet can pivot. So he has very good articulation, so you can put him in some pretty cool poses. I'm trying to get him in a cool one. <laughs> so, there. Let's just put him in that pose. <laughs> so, very good articulation, pretty good detail. Overall, I give the robot mode a 4.5 out of 5. So he overall gets a eight and a half out of ten. Quick size comparison next to Deluxe Bumblebee. See, he's a lot bigger than Activator's Bumblebee. Next to my only other Activator, uh, Activator's Thundercracker is also quite a bit taller than Bumblebee. But he's a lot chunkier and such, and he has a much bigger head. <laughs> so, yeah. So overall, I highly recommend that you get this figure. It's definitely well worth it. I thought it'd be an okay figure, but it's actually really awesome. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend just getting the Shockwave versus Bumblebee pack. Uh, definitely get it as soon as you can at your nearest Target store, because they'll probably be taking it out soon, because it's been out for a couple days. So, yeah, so thank you for watching my review, and this is Jedi Jesse 96 signing out. Oh, you can see me in there. Oh.